Tantra Isare. Where today we're jumping into Reacher, Season 1, Episode 2. Oh, I like that. I'm ready to jump into Reacher. First, I have to say shout out to all the new subscribers that have subscribed to see Reacher. So if you are new to this platform, please comment down below. I would love to meet you. So yes, comment down below. Um, I'm very excited to have a conversation with all the new subscribers, even the subscribers who have been here, because of course I cannot do this platform without all of you. Um, but I'm ready to jump into this. This guy is sexy as hell. Um, clearly he's not gay, unfortunately, because somebody's like, where did that come from? Because in the last reaction or the last episode when he was arrested in jail, the guy told him, I think he said spread your cheeks. I don't know. I feel like he definitely said spread your cheeks because he had a surgeon before he went into the prison. Um, and the guy was like, no. And, and if you want to try it, go ahead, but I'm going to, you're going to get hurt. So, Okay. He's straight. Um, also, the lady who's a cop, I don't know if I said in the last reaction, I'm pretty sure she was in um, that Netflix TV show. And I cannot, is it called? No, what was it called? Oh my God, it was such a good show too. Oh my God, I forgot what it's called, Ozark. I think she was the lady in Ozark. I don't know if I said this in the last reaction and if we had a discussion about that, or if I'm actually completely wrong. I'm thinking I remember, and I think that's her. But in this episode, I'll verify it um, once again. I'm ready to jump into this. It seems like um, we're going to have uh, Reacher help the cops solve this mystery, this murder mystery, and I'm very concerned. Oh, and his brother got killed. So now Reacher definitely wants to put in some work. So I'm ready for it. I'm ready for the shits. I'm ready for the giggles. Now, if you guys want to see this in a full reaction, of course you can. On the second and third tier here on this platform that I promise you will copyright all my sh as well as my other platform, Patreon. So please join one of those platforms today to be able to see this in a full reaction. Now, if you can't join the platform to see it in a full reaction, but you really want to support this channel, you can do it for free. Yes, you can, child. Please hit that like button, share, and don't forget once again to comment down below. That's right. That's good at this. Now, without further ado, Let's jump into Reacher and find out exactly what Reacher has got to give. Yes. Yes. Maybe give him some space. I don't need 250 pounds of frontier justice tearing up this town. Outside of Morgan, you actually listen to you. That's, that's bad. And what if he doesn't know? Shoot him. I don't need a babysitter, and I don't need you screwing up my investigation. I could be out there looking for who killed your brother. So stand down and let me do my job, because I'm very good at it. I figure your plan's to go to Hubble's house and take your thumb into his eye until he tells you why I confessed to a murder he didn't commit. Something like that. I can either follow you the whole way, or you can save the shoe leather and get in the damn car. For the record, I'm not a vagrant. I'm a hobo. Officer Conklin, uh, Mr. Richard, please, come in. My husband told me that you looked out for him in that awful prison. How do you know what Reacher looks like? Do you, uh, do you know where Paul is? Can you imagine Paul, criminal? <laughs> Answer for so much as Jay won't. <laughs> I assume that's why you're here. Thanks, Doc. My brother was murdered. Dear God. Why my dead brother had your life husband's number on him. Oh, I have no idea. Girls, say hi to Officer Conklin and Mr. Reacher. Hello, Hello Officer Mr. Conklin. Reacher. Pally's growing like a weed. Yeah, I know. She's the one with the glasses. May I use your restroom? Yeah, of course. Through the kitchen down the hall to the left. This is the bathroom. <laughs> oh, each of them shoes. I literally have the same shoes. That's why I know. <laughs> We've taken up enough of your time. Have a nice evening, Roscoe. Oh, glasses is the main difference between the girls. Everything else is a matter of degree. Taller, shorter. Glasses was absolute. Right before I was attacked in prison, a guy pointed at me and said to him, I taken a guy's glasses. Their instructions were clearly to find the new boys and take out the one in glasses. Hubble's have been smashed. He was a target, not me. Some kind of seed. 
Why would a banker have him on his dress shoes? It's an agrimony burr. They're growing tall grass all around here. We call them hitchhikers because they stick on you and they go for a ride. This is Kogon grass. I know my uncle's farm. It doesn't produce burrs. Okay. I told Finley the shooter was someone who knew fire was well, but it was more than that. The killer was a skilled marksman. Heard someone coming up behind him try to turn to him in the head before he could do anything about it. This area would have been darker. This is where he hid. He enjoyed it. What? Should have wanted to be close. Maybe it was personal. If someone takes your life, it's always personal. That's true. Do you have a family? What do you do for a living? In order, when we were kids, no family. Last time we spoke, he was working in Homeland Security. That's interesting. What department was your brother in? Don't know. I hadn't spoken in a while. Find the motel. I'll give you a ride. Don't want one. She is really watching him. <laughs> Why don't you come here? We want to talk to you. He don't want no, to you talk don't. To <laughs> no, you don't. What kind of bullshit you bring into our town? Rich guy in a fancy pickup with a 50 in each of your pockets to take care of me. Honored. We're talking to you, man. You guys think you can handle him? Good luck, bitch. I'm just going to break the hands of three drunk kids. <laughs> There's four of us here. One of you's going to drive to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I know where the hospital is. <laughs> What the hell just rolled into Margrave? <laughs> we got a car. There's our car. That's a guy's house. Good boy. Hey. Hey, can I help you? Nope. Fog was bone dry. You calling me a liar? Yeah. I suggest you leave my property. How much you gonna do if he doesn't? I can't talk right now. There's been another murder. Police Chief Morrison. Police Chief Morrison? Last night you wanted to go everywhere with me. <laughs> what did they do to the chief? Baker won't talk about it. What is he doing here? You told me to keep an eye on him. I keep an eye on him. Was he nailed to a wall? How did you know that? This guy is here like Dexter, Flo, but up 100. Preliminary examination of Police Chief Edward Morrison. It's crazy. Or laceration to the left shoe. They wore rubber overshoes and gloves. Latex. Like whoever killed my brother. What makes you say that? Well, three people killed my brother. Where the heck are his testicles? In his stomach. You'll find him during the autopsy. Okay, reach outside. Right, the people Hubble workforce said they'd nail him to a wall and cut his balls off if he caused problems. Ever think your brother didn't reach out to the cops because he couldn't reach out to the cops? Maybe he was dirty. Think Maybe. real hard before you finish that sentence. Working with the same killers Hubble was mixed up with. Dad, or we just saw a big fat coincidence nailed to the wall. Baker wasn't concerned because he knew you didn't do it, which means he knows who did. Want to tell me who else on my team is cricket? Tell me. Why does a black cop from Boston with a 20-year pension come work in a southern backwater town in the middle of nowhere? Whoever's running this had Morrison under his thumb. No one sits in the chief's chair unless they're under it, too. So I guess that means he's dirty and you're okay. And nothing means more to me than your vote of confidence. I'm gonna call my buddy at the FBI. Uh, Teal's first order was no states, no feds. He wants us kept in hell. There's no we here. But the way they were killed sent a message to their organization. Don't screw up and don't cross us. You two think you can go to alone? Great. Teal's called an emergency town meeting. Be careful around him. They do this to a cop, why not a banker? True. Let's go. I'm gonna be there now. I called late last night. Said that he had to speak to some people about sorting out this bank madness. And when I woke, I realized he'd never come home. He has never once not come home. He bank All girl. right, just a minute. I need your car. Are you taking that knife? You want to give me your gun? That's what I thought. They're killing cops in their own homes. Then what chance do any of us got? A damn good chance. I will not sleep until we have the perpetrators behind bars. But what the hell do you know about law enforcement? That's right. But what does some Yankee cop know about Margaret? That's right. These killings are not related. Oh, what about that animal you rested out of the diner? One of the victims was Mr. Reacher's brother, Joseph. When I moved Kleiner Industries to this town five years ago, Margrave was run down. But I said to myself, these are the kind of people who can bounce back. I promise, I will provide whatever funds, whatever resources to find whomever is responsible. <laughs> I just want to let you know that I'm going to start cross referencing forensics from both murder sites to establish power. Track down the biggest scumbags he ever arrested who've since been released. That's how you're going to find his killer. Those are your orders. And the body is by the highway. A police officer was crucified. Teal's trying to frame the Morrison hit as a revenge killing. 
Just send me off to chase my tail. You know who's not incompetent? Kleiner. Guys with the kind of money and power Kleiner wields are rarely angels. We need to look into them. Give us cover while we work the real angles. Like Joe's rental car. They need protection, even if Hubble's already dead. These guys get antsy, think Charlie has even a 1% chance of knowing anything. My uh, FBI buddy, I wanted to reach out to her earlier. Gave me the best advice I ever forgot. Don't take the Margrave job. <laughs> I'd like to offer my apologies for your arrest. My condolences for your brother. We'd be happy to keep you updated on the investigation. Just leave your contact information with the department before you head out. I'm not leaving. Margrave's such a nice town. Used to be. May the Lord bless him. Keep him in a plastic container. Thank you. Wouldn't happen to have a couple of Spanish-speaking amigos in town, would you? Because the two fellas come by my shop asking about you. It didn't seem all that friendly. You might need another shave before you leave town. Very true. We really have the luxury of certainty right now, but bad things are happening. And Richard can help us. Get some food together. Pack your bags for kids. Where are we going? Got a call from Finley. FBI agent A. Picard is on his way. Picard will keep you safe. That's what your husband would have wanted. Why are you talking about him in the past tense? We have to assume Paul's dead. They tried to kill him in prison. They killed Morrison and his wife. There'll be time to grieve later. You have to think about your kids. You need to pack. Go, Billy, dance! Dance, 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 You boys looking for a dance partner? You think you can take all of us? It's Billy's dad. Go, 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 go. It's not safe anymore. Let's go. I'm not ready. Let's go now. Oh my God. I'm Picard. I'll get the bags. All right, come on, girls. Come on. This is off the books. To get a family into an actual protection program would take time and red tape. Bottom line, do not let this bite me in the ass. We are talking about my career here. I told him not to take this job. He's got everyone on the snipe hunt. Finley will fill you in. Okay, what about you? I'm gonna go see that guard spy you at Warburg. He won't tell you anything. Depends on how I ask. Uh, Tanner Spivey, Chief Detective Finley, Margrave PD, calling on account of Jack Reach. He was your prisoner, and I'm not losing my job over this. Is there somewhere we can meet up? Hey, Spivey. And look who it is. I figured you would set me up. So I thought I'd return the favor. Stop the trunk. Let's go. Let's go. It'll be uncomfortable. Not as uncomfortable as a bullet to the stomach in the hole. Maybe you have orders to take me to your boss so we can find out how much I know. Hey, who hesitates? Both Avis and Hertz confirmed no unaccounted for rental cars in the entire state. It didn't go as planned. <laughs> Just got off the phone with the Georgia State Police. No suspects from the Blue Cat Brawl were apprehended. I said you could work with us. It's not my fault Spivey didn't buy it. Already thrown down a Warburton, beating up some locals, and fought a couple of goons in the parking lot. They weren't goons. How could you know that? Because if they weren't, I would have killed them within 10 seconds. I used to headbutt me. It was from a martial art called Ricey. Hardly anyone uses except branches of South American Special Forces. Would South American military be involved in this? Oh, no. You ever seen anyone like that around Margrave? Turns out Joe was working for the Secret Services Division of Homeland. Doing what? No one could or would give me any answers. I was specialized in currency management. It may be, but money's at the root of every crime there is. I figure people usually get hurt when they're looking into something others don't want them to. Seems so maybe Joe was an investigator like you. Homeland Security won't call back till tomorrow, and by now Spivey's heard things have gone sideways at the bar. I'm gonna find his house and search it. Prison guard's home address won't be public. I'm getting a beer. Absolutely not. You saw those people at town. Oh, they were ready to grab torches and come after you like Frankenstein. They went after Frankenstein's monster. Details matter. Now, you can go to your motel right now and sleep in a comfortable bed, or I can arrest you for vagrancy. He's not a vagrant. He's a hobo. Just tell him. Make sure he goes straight back to the motel. In the past few days, you lost one brother and had four fights. If anybody needs a drink, it's you. Maybe they'll even play that blues stuff you like. Mm -mm -mm. We gotta stop by a gas station and get you a t-shirt with a little less blood on it. Oh, free blood, Blake. Feeling any better? It's not feeling worse. They're playing Patsy. You know what that means? No. 
when I ask people to dance, it usually precedes a lot of punching. You leave me for some. <laughs> I don't need your jacket. Look your ass. Hey, take a beat, champ. We're far from Margrave. Not far enough. What's going on? Road east to the highway split it. No one can through the night. Sorry I didn't have any of my truck or summons. You always eat this well? I was hungry. Mm -hmm. Didn't think room service would deliver this late. Had these at every PX on every base I ever lived at when I was a kid. Prefers Agnot. No one prefers Agnot. Spicy Cajun crotators? <laughs> there you go. I'll take a Clark bar. My family's been here since the town was founded. Like the deals. <laughs> Fuck the deal. Got in bed with the railroad, swindled farmers out of their land, and laid tracks right through their crops. I had family job for family. He was my parents' best friend. He was the most fastidious person I had ever met. But he had a dark side, too. Hung himself from the rafters in his garage about a year ago. Damn. I was wondering if you had any family I didn't know about. No. It's basically down to Joe. If you hadn't walked in that bar a few days ago, read that blind Blake's one, it probably would have been years before I found out he was dead. It's been nice getting to know you. Nice getting to know you, too. Rubber overshoes. They're gonna kill me? Could have been here for me. My car was parked out front. See you soon. Looks like they plan on coming back. I'm really gonna need a gun. Uh -huh. Well, well. Ooh, I liked that. This show is starting to pick up. You know what? Sh you know what show I was hoping that this wasn't gonna be like, which is not going to be like that. I feel like. Um, there was a show that I loved in the beginning. It was called Night Night Stalker. No, it's not uh, not Night Stalker. Night something or other. I don't know. It was on Netflix. It's almost very similar to this. The main actor was amazing, but then a lot of the other actors in it and the story kind of like didn't do it for me. Um. That's probably why I didn't finish it. But I was like, oh my gosh, is this show going to be kind of similar to that? And it doesn't seem to be giving me that. This seems to give me Dexter meets Night, whatever the holy hell that, that show was called. I can't remember what the show was called. Um, and the show was pretty good. It was a good show. I could, I could still even finish watching it. If I feel like it, it's not. It's not that bad, um, but yeah, this this show is starting to pick up. I love the action scenes, but I'm gonna need to understand where they got these villains or these people that try to like challenge Reacher. They all seem like little twigs, and they all seem like they. <laughs> these so far, there's no match. Like I would like see those little kids who tried to like stand up to Reacher. If I was one of them, I would have been just like that guy. Well, I know where the hospital is. But I would have said that before. As soon as he said what he said, I would have tried to fight him. I would have, I, I would have walked away. The, as soon as I saw how tall and big this guy was and how he just stared, I'd be like, bye! See you later. Um, and I'm a dirty fighter, but I know I couldn't do nothing to that man. So with that being said, also, is this actor who plays Reacher, I wonder if this is his first big like break is this his first big break i don't know this actor i've never seen him before and the only actor that i've now i see the one who's now the chief police i've seen him in many things and i've seen uh the black guy in many things as well i actually do like him here morrison this is name morrison whatever the black guy's name is He's kind of, the character is a little irritating, the way they wrote that character. And I understand why they wrote him the way he is. I understand why he acts the way he is. But watching it, it's like, ugh. Because I actually know people like that in real life and I would never pay or want to sit around and watch them act that way. And right now, I'm doing it. I'm doing it for you guys. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> but everything else seems to be hidden. I just still am not intimidated when it comes to Reacher versus anybody who's standing up to him or trying to come for him. I'm not scared. I, I, like, there's no 
part of me that says there won't be a season two because he Reacher is just very well equipped well equipped to handle every single target so far that has come his way but the action scenes are amazing I love the action scenes this episode went much quicker than the first episode I think the first episode I feel like the first two episodes so far they're trying to find their footing in telling us this story, right? Obviously, this is from the books, which I think I read. Did, didn't I read that somewhere? And we discussed that. Um, it is. It's based on books by Lee Child. Um, so I wonder, telling this story about Reacher in the books, was it kind of rocky at first? Or like, maybe not rocky, but trying to, you know, bring you this new story and you're reading something new and you're trying to figure out where you're you're going with it. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, regardless, I would give this episode a 9. I think the last episode I gave an 8 or 8.5, something like that. This episode picked up for me. I started to enjoy the characters a lot more. Reacher is just so fine. They definitely tanned him up, though. He also, I bet you in real life, I don't know who this man is. There's a lot of names here. And I don't want to say, I'm assuming maybe his name is Willa Fitzgerald. I am so curious. You know what he gives me? Willa Fitzgerald. He gives me, um, like, in real life, that, nope, that's not him. That's a girl. Um, he gives me like he's probably really nervous or shy because the way he portrays the actor, I mean the character, it's, you could kind of see it, if that makes any sense. I'm, I'm determined to find what, who this guy is. Um, and I don't think I can find him. <laughs> I don't think I can find him. I think he's very, very new to the game. Um, but yeah, I don't think I can find this guy. Not at all. I cannot find him. Why can't I? Oh, he's been in a few things. He's been in all these things I've never heard of. So it wasn't his first big break. But, oh, he's fine in real life. Ooh, he's fine in, um, did you guys ever Google this man? He looks really fucking good. Wow. He is fine. Okay, I take back everything I said. But, I don't know. He kind of gives me... Okay, never mind. He just man is gorgeous. Um, <laughs> I take back what I said. Regardless, let's get back to the damn show. Now, let me X this man out. He is so fine. Um, <laughs> all the straight men are here. Like, uh, I'm I'm just liking this video. Sorry, straight men, but the man is fine. So the story is very very good. We have a lot of mystery in it still. We don't. I don't understand what's going on now. We got like the Sp the Spanish military involved in this situation. Obviously, Joe, his brother, coming here for, and his brother's in Homeland was investigating this town. Maybe the brother, he, but then again, he said he didn't even talk to his brother in a while. So I don't understand. There's a lot of things I don't understand. I don't understand how this Blake music, jazz thing, country music involves him coming to this town. If he hasn't even talked to his brother and his brother mentioned something about Blake or Bleak or whatever to him, it's a lot, it's a lot of mystery and I'm trying to figure out still as I watch the show where every, all the pieces fit. And I feel like I'm just going to give up on trying to figure it out. I think I'm just going to watch the show and stop trying to overthink it and just enjoy it for what it is. It's a very good show thus far. I just really hope that we, you know, moving on, we start picking up villains-wise because nobody, even the mayor, Teal, and this Kirk, whatever his name is, they still, they're not scary. And um, these henchmen, they're not scary either. So I'm going to need somebody equivalent to Reacher to slowly pick up and pull out and show us what they're going to do. They better be doing their big one. But I loved it. I love it so far. So guys, once again, if you would like to support this channel, if you liked this reaction, please hit that like button, share, and don't forget to comment down below. If you want to see this in full reaction once again, please join one of the platforms. And I'll see you guys next time with more Reacher.